What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today on Friday, April 16th, 2021, giving you some news you can use. Now, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and more. Now, for those of you who haven't noticed, we've done multiple news episodes this week covering iOS events as they happen, so be sure to check out Monday's episode here, as well as Tuesday's episode here. Now, we may touch on a few of those prior topics here today, but for more info, be sure to check out those videos. Now, one of those things mentioned in the prior episodes was the ID700, which is a new app based on the Buchla 700 that was over two years in the making and has just been released. And another one is Clevgram, which has a new app by the name of Slammer. It's currently on an introductory price until May 3rd for 37.5% off. And there's also news that ModArt is working on an iOS port of Piano Tech, and this is great news because it means we'll be getting more modeled instruments, similar to those made by Audio Modeling with small sizes but big sounds on iOS. And for those of you with smaller iDevice sizes, this is gonna be great. So hopefully that drops soon. And the Apple event is this Tuesday on April 20th, 2021, and we can't wait. We're expecting a mini LED iPad Pro 12.9 as well as an iPad Pro 11 that does not have the mini LED, but both may have a Thunderbolt port, which would be a huge game changer for the iPad. There's also talk of an Apple Pencil version 3, and that would make sense to be a companion for the newest iPad Pro variants, but we don't know what the rumored newer pencil would add that the second one doesn't already have. And another report that Apple's spring-loaded event won't feature anything particularly innovative makes us wonder if there's hope for Logic coming to the iPad at all. But what do you think? What do you hope to see? I know there's talk of people wishing there could be like two Thunderbolt ports or even just two USB-C ports on the iPad. Do you think that's something we'll see? I feel like something that dramatic would have been leaked, but I hope I'm wrong and that we do get a two port USB-C situation. Or for me, a good compromise would be another Magic Keyboard case that has a USB port that can be used for more than just charging. If we could get a couple USB-C ports on the Magic Keyboard case that allows you to connect devices, that would be a okay middle of the road solution for me where those who want the extra ports without buying a clunky hub are able to have that and those that don't mind just the single port are able to have that also but let us know what you think down in the comment section below and now let's move on to updates first of all we've got koala sampler which has added a better auto save as well as stability fixes and phase delay array has fixed a bug that could cause a crash when dragging a preset file onto the presets panel, fixed a bug that could cause a crash when an AU host deleted a preset, fixed a bug that caused issues with loading user presets on some hosts, as well as added support for exporting presets on the macOS version. And Adam Piano Roll 2 has yet another huge update. They enabled iOS 13 compatibility for launchpad controllers, which is good news for you iOS 14 holdouts. Added a bunch of new grids for quantization, swing, and general editing. Added 39 new scales, and all the scales are now sorted with music theory in mind and ordered by their respective modal brightness from brighter happy to darker sad. And the new scales include double harmonic Persian, Neapolitan minor, Neapolitan major, flamenco, and so much more. Added program change clip triggers available on the advanced launch settings. Added auto routing support for the Akai MPK Mini 3 controller, which also serves as a simple example hardware script for adding your own custom routing. Added receive CC, receive pitch bin, and receive program change, in addition to receive polyphonic aftertouch and receive channel aftertouch to the scripting sandbox. Fixed an issue where controller scripts would sometimes connect to the same port twice, added a disabled animation configuration that reduces motion, added a reload UI button for quickly reloading the configurations and styles, 
revamp config styles and script menus, now with icon sorting and helpful tips for getting the most out of user extensions. Now preventing accidental dismissal of the manual view when tapping on the background and now presenting door hanger menus modually disabling input for the background. Better performance when opening various menus like scales, fixed sliders, also scrolling containers, and process toolbars appearing incorrectly on narrow screens, for example, the iPhone in vertical mode. Layers are now sorted by track, and default quantize toolbar strength now depends on the top level quantize button. So as you can see, a very extensive list on that update. That developer is going hard. So shout out to them and be sure to check out Adam 2 Piano Roll if you have not. And if you have Adam Piano Roll the first version, please do not use the bundle upgrade. Go and support this developer if you have it and are able to in order to support this developer. Because as you can see, putting in work, lovely updates that are constantly really up in the capability of this software. So let's go ahead and support them as a community because it is more than worth it. As you can see, look at all that you get. Anyways, let me end that rant. Now let's move on to sales. Now first off, as we previously reported, Cubasis 2 and Cubasis 3 is currently on sale. Cubasis 3 was $49.99, it's now $35.99, and Cubasis 2 was $23.99, and it's now $17.99. And the reason why I wanna keep highlighting this sale is because the sales usually come around a time of an update. So if you're looking to get into Cubasis 3 at all, be expecting an update on the horizon soon, I'm hearing and be sure to grab it at the reduced price. It's a great app if you intend to record instruments into it, vocals into it, things like that. And it's constantly evolving and progressing, so definitely be sure to check that out. Now, we've also got the sale of Synthmaster 1 from $19.99 down to $11.99, and Synthmaster 1 is an incredible app it's got so many presets that are just great. They just sound good. It's got in-app purchases available to get even more sounds. Definitely worth checking out. And we've also got 2X B303 Bass Sequencer EDM303, which was $4.99, and it's now $1.99. And BST100 V2 Super Overdrive was $19.99, and it's now $9.99. And Maze Rider Auto Leveling, which I'm gonna try out later on, hopefully today, and see if it's any good. Cause I really like the idea of a vocal rider on iOS. It was $3.99, it's now $2.99. If it works the way that I imagine it should, it's definitely a steal. I will let y'all know my thoughts on that app, but we're about to get out of here. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and more. And be sure to check out some of the best kits available for iOS at iPadBeatMaking.com. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace. <laughs>